cleanup day. I'm gonna clean up some of these pieces that I've been waiting since December to get cleaned up that I found the first time I went out to Haunted Ridge. I'm gonna clean up some of these pieces that I picked up at the abandoned barite mine. I'm gonna soak this stuff and iron out today and I'm gonna power wash some of the stuff that I found last week. Stay tuned. Okay, so just sprayed off some of the stuff that I pulled out of the wall with Brian with the power washer. Some of them turned out kind of weird. This one has some weird limonite and barite overcoat. This one has a ton of that. Also some cool crystals on this one. Some of these turned out really cool though. Look at that, beautiful. This one here I think is my favorite so far. That's nice, those are huge crystals for Missouri. So I'm gonna let Cash go to town with the power washer here on the big one in a second. Hopefully that's good. We'll check on them in a few hours. All right. So I got a lot of the bigger cool pieces power washed here. This is that big one that Cash was working on. All this stuff here is just kind of permanently on there that's um, been rehealed on there at some point. At some point this broke in the pocket and all these little pieces came off and those are all glued onto there now which I think is kind of cool so you can see some of the crazy agate banding on that piece and we'll look at some of the other ones here We've got some cool botroidal pieces oh, this one's cool this one turned out Kind of a more smoky color than I was expecting. That's cool. I don't have any smoky ones like this till now. Got some good crystals here. Gonna have to soak them in the iron out. Here you can see a little bit of barite on this one. There's like crystal structure to that barite, but it's very small. I think this is gonna be another interesting smoky piece once we soak it. Got this piece here with crazy limonite pseudomorph after I think marcasite. So normally, you know, when you find limonite, kind of a disappointment, but it's kind of cool on that piece. I thought this piece was cool. Just Lots of cool rehealing on that one. Got some good crystals here. Some of that limonite overcoat on there, but I think it's cool looking. Got a bunch of that on this one. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Got some of these crystals that have kind of this more, I don't know, this weird luster to them. And let's see, got some more botroidal 
These ones are cool. At first I thought that this one was scuffed, like where it's white like that, but the crystals are undamaged. That's uh, some white color like underneath it. So that was cool. Got this other piece here that needs to be soaked. That's a big old nice plate. Some more pieces with the uh, rehealing on them. Some more big nice crystals. And some honorable mentions over here. Some of them turned out to have no crystals, but I think this piece has really cool agate banding. So not a total disappointment. This one just did not turn out very good. It's got that weird unattractive barite and limonite covering it, but it's still a cool piece. Like, I don't know, it's got potential. This one here is cool, but it's got a couple scuffs on it, but man, look at that nice Jimmy piece, cool agate bands on it. This one here ended up having nothing, really a couple crystals on there, but some big old chunky agate bands on that piece. Found a cool, couple cool rosette formations like this. That one needs some iron out. As you can see, it'll all sparkle like that. Let's see what we got going in the iron out. There's a couple more pieces that I cleaned up that didn't quite make the cut. Man, this one's got some cool crystals on it. But it's just that one little spot of it. Let's see what's going on in here. Oh, wow. You can see it already got a lot cleaner. That was that all orange one. Wow. Ooh, wow. Nice and white. I think it might be time to take them out. I put a couple of the ones that I just power washed in with it. I'll put that one nice chunker there. Looks like it might still need a minute, so I might take them out in just a bit, but. Wow, what a difference on that one and on that one. I can't wait to see these. All right. Here they are. Some of these got soaked in the iron out and turned out pretty nice. Look at that guy. Love that piece. I think this one needs another round, but wow, what a difference. Some of these little guys Again, I think need round two, but cleaned up really nice. Love this one. I soaked this one, but I think he's gonna need a round two. Love that lavender color. You can see a little bit more of that rehealing on the back. Still needs another soak though. I think this is one of my favorite surprise pieces. I love this little oatmeal cookie. This thing would totally sparkle if the sun would come out, which is apparently not gonna happen this week. Check out the back of this thing. What? Awesome. I did not soak these pieces in the iron out, but Man, this location. Even some of the pieces that don't have the greatest luster have great luster. Love the back of this one too. Found this piece in the video. 
that I shot there last week. This is the one that I pulled up and said, yep, loaded. Wish I would have shown that one a little longer on the camera, but I was right, loaded. Here's the red one I found. Soak this in iron out, so that's definitely inclusions in the crystals. Really hope that we pull something jimmy out of the ground that's red. You know, like if these two had a baby, you know what I'm saying? Ugh. This piece turned out beautiful. I didn't even know that it had that slight smoky. Even the back looks a lot cleaner. Loving that iron out. Look how much better this one looks. Look at that sparkle. I think it needs a round two though. I think next time I'm gonna try oxalic acid. This one is gonna be a wedding gift. Or part of a wedding gift anyway. I didn't get any cool agate crystals like this on my wedding. Just saying. Some of these turned out great too. Look at that guy. Again with the cool bands and rehealing on the back. And this piece it didn't turn out too bad either. This is from the Barite mine. My favorite though is this guy. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. I love those smoky phantom crystal points. Cool agate bands on this piece. Great piece. I'm gonna be back out at this location next week. Pulling out buckets and buckets of this stuff with the crystal collector. What? Stay tuned, guys.